basic beginner's guitar, perfect timing, a focus approach, book one, lesson 10, part one. I just want to um, touch on the end of Billy Boy. <clears throat> I think I, the last line, it's, uh, I'm going to go through it, okay? So, um, joy of my whole life, but she's young and she cannot leave her mother. Three, four, one, two, okay? So, three, four, one, two, was the end of the, that tie note at the end should be, uh, you have the A, quarter note, one, and then the dotted half, G, two, three, four, and it ties into the um, two beat half note there, two count half note. So that last note tied together, the, the G in the second to last measure and the G in the last measure should be two, three, four, one, two. And of course the reason it's only one, two is that um, there were pickup notes or incomplete measures, right, in the introduction, that, those first notes, uh, B, C. Oh, where, okay. The first you know, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you caught that. And the strums, I think, I, was the main thing that I kind of messed up there. I actually played the melody correctly, I think, but uh, last lesson, but. Can I, can I leave her mother? Okay, so that's what I'm playing. If you notice, it doesn't have the slashes with the chords there, like we've seen in the past. This is getting more that you have to think how you're gonna play the chords on your own a little more with this kind of, the way this is written. It just has the chord and you know the time signature. So, you know, it's gotta be in four, four, four beats per measure. You have to sort of make things up. Um, let's do the second measure, like, like, oh, one, two, three, four. So it's, where have you, right? The chords would be, you could do it split it in half and do it only on the one and three so where have you you know one two three four or you could be playing it every you could be doing it four times to keep the tempo correct you could be oh where have you been from Billy Boy Billy Boy okay so by the end the last two measures would be uh, on the D chord and the melodies can I leave her mother okay can I, you could be can I leave her mother okay or it could be can I leave her mother okay <laughs> um, that might be a little confusing well, let's assume it's not and move on to our Lee uh, written by W W Fosdick and George R. Poulton, 1861. So another uh, <clears throat> brand new song right at the beginning of the Civil War, 1861. Wow. You can tell I like these new songs. Okay. Uh, really nice melody. You'll probably recognize it as um, Love Me Tender. Right? Uh, and it's in 4-4 time. There are no pickup notes. Hey, it's in the key of C. That's great. So, uh, we're going to have some new chords here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. If you don't know these chords, <clears throat> I think towards the end of the thing, uh, the whole work here, I, I acknowledge that we maybe hadn't learned E7. I forget. Anyway, look at your chord pages at the back of the book for this if I'm... I'm neglecting to, if I'm giving you a chord that's that you haven't learned yet, E7 is this. So when we do the chords, memorize that chord, or have it there, <clears throat> write it out and set it to the side so you can play it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got something in my throat. Uh, Arlene, love me tender, whatever you want to call it. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, it counts 4-4. Four, four. Like I said, key is C, so no sharps or flats. So let's try it. One, two, ready, play. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, 
I tripped up there on the last, let's look at that second measure in the last line, um, or excuse me, third measure, because the first measure is the, the uh, made of golden hair, and that first measure is a dotted, dotted half with a rest, so hair, two, three, rest, and then sunshine came along with Okay, so you're getting that one and a half um, count on the D that note there, because it's a dotted quarter in 4-4 four, four time, and then you have that eighth note. So really, <clears throat> let's break that down and count it. Remember when I was saying when we're doing eighth notes, count rather than just going one, two, if you're counting along while you play, like, look at the second measure, you can be just be going like one, two, three, four, okay? But you could also put the ands in between. One and two and three and four and, okay? So let's slow it down and do that. And we'll play the second measure into the third and see how it counts, okay? So it'd be one and two and three and four and 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 to the end, okay? I played, <clears throat> I played on out to the end, but rewind that. I did count it right, um, and I stayed in time, I think. Had there been a metronome on, might not have been so pretty, but <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do the chords, okay? Um, again, 4-4 four, four time. There's no pickup, so just 1, 2, ready, play, and C, D7, G7, C, D7, G7, and at the end, remember, we have E7, and A minor. So if those two chords, I think we learned them, but if they're not there, look at the back of the book. If some of these songs I've, I've kind of pretty sure I had all the chords taught by the time I got to these songs, but if I didn't, just look at the back of the book, they're in there, and then come back and try to play this. So uh, beginning at the beginning, um, great place to start. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Dun, 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 dun. That last line, I do an A7, so that's another one that, uh, if I haven't gone over that before, just look at the back of the book, the chord diagram, it's there. <clears throat> I think it's, uh, yeah, upper right corner of the chord, chord chart for the chords in the book, okay? So uh, the last line, you know, hair, hair, two, three, four, C, A7, Make sure you do that at the end. Just kidding. Do this. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So um, let's try this one uh, called Slalom. What's that even mean? That's one I wrote actually for this, uh, just for this book, just some little simple melody. Uh, slalom is skiing through uh, a course, a zigzag course of whatever, flags on snow or uh, buoys in the water for water skiers. <laughs> um, so uh, it's 4-4 four, four time, it's easy. You have a F sharp, oh, there actually is one second line, you'll notice. Actually, there's one in the first line, the low F sharp on the word we, second to last measure, first line, and then in the, about the middle of the second line there, where the C chord is, and the word through, there's the F sharp, so there instead of F, and here, instead of F here, F sharp there, okay? 
So here we go, like one, two, three, four. So actually, there were there were two um, high F sharps. I said just in the middle of the line on the second. There's the second note on the second line is a F sharp, right? And then the F, the low F sharp, the uh, <clears throat> second and the last last note of the second last measure of both lines is an F sharp, right? Hopefully you caught this. So let's try the chords. Just be ri one, two, ready, play. And, uh, So you could go back and play that, uh, play the melody with those chords, or go clear back to where we played the melody and play the chords with it. Good practice. Um, so that was page 63. Page 64 is Danny Boy by Frederick Weatherly, 1913. Did you ever hear this one? Um, so. Okay. It's got a tie there, I notice, uh, a couple of ties, the first line, the second line, and the third line, two of them on the third line. So let's try it. We're starting on an F sharp. Um, what I notice is we don't have it shown in the um, key signature. Could have done it that way, but we are showing them right before where they appear, uh, where they're like an F sharp. We'll have the sharp note there, okay? So let's try it. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, and it's a pickup note, so it's one. Okay. One, two, three, four, one. Play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Boy, I'd like to play that one again. Um, because I think I'm going to. Let's just real quickly do it again. Because I want, to, want you to be able to chord to it as well. Let's just do the chords and you try to play that melody again. And then I'll come back and do the melody one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. Chords. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, that all right <clears throat> as I noted here there's more to this great song with some of these notes and chords some of the notes and chords uh, to the rest of it we haven't learned yet so it's well worth looking up I've noted uh, on YouTube or wherever and listening to the rest of it it's really pretty um, so oh my we're out of time let's go to lesson 10 uh, part two for amazing grace and some history and all that so see you there